number of the elements in a set. order of a set. Let A be a finite set. Then the order of the set. Set A is the number of the elements. Elements in the set A. And the uh, and this is denoted as, uh, and it is denoted by order of a or cardinality of a, which means the number of the elements in the set a, or any means number of the elements in the set a. Right. So the meaning of this is the order of the set A. It is the cardinality of the set A. And this is the number of the elements in the set A. Right. So we know that A complement, what is A complement? Let X be the universal set. Be a universal set. Let X be a universal set and A be a set in it in X. Then Complement of A is, which is denoted by either AC or A dash, is X belonging to X such that X does not belong to A. That means if we, we, I take the Venn diagram, If I choose a Venn diagram, if I choose a Venn diagram, let me make a proper diagram. If I choose a Venn diagram, right? X is a universal set, A is here, and this area is a complement then the number of the elements in A is the number of the elements in the universe minus the number of the elements in A complement. Let A and B be two finite sets. The Two finite sets. Then the number of the elements in A union B, according to the formula, is number of the elements in A, number of the elements in B, minus number of the elements in A intersection B. Right? Now we are going to prove that. This is basically a result of the theorem we can say, right? So we are going to prove that. According to the Venn diagram, X is our universal set, A is here, B is here. So this portion is A union B. So you can see, 
the, the number of the elements in A union B, this is this portion is A minus B. This is A intersection B. And this is B minus A. So the number of the elements in A union B is number of the elements in A minus B plus the number of the elements in A intersection B plus the number of the elements in B minus A. Right? What is the number of the elements in A? If you see the diagram, the number of the elements in A is number of the elements in A minus B plus the number of the elements in A intersection B. Right? Similarly, the number of the elements in B is number of the elements in B minus A plus number of the elements in A intersection B. And this gives us that number of the elements in A, B minus A is B minus A is the number of the elements in B minus number of the elements in A intersection B. Right? So this one, two, and three. Substituting this as number of the elements in A, substituting number of the elements in B minus A, uh, as uh, this uh, uh, number of B minus number of A intersection B. We get, so substituting, substituting this two and three in one, we get this number of the elements in A union B is number of the elements in A plus number of the elements in B minus number of the elements in A intersection B, right? We can see its examples. So we go to, uh, so this example, uh, first example, right? The first example is, it is, Yes, the first example is uh, this so we have. Let me. This first example. If you see the first example, the first example is uh, this is just a minute. Yes. If A and B are two sets, if A and B are two sets, are two sets such that A union B has 50 elements, right? In which A has 28 elements and B has 32 elements. Thirty-two elements, right? Then how many elements? Does A intersection B have? So number of the elements in A union B is 50. Number of the elements in A is 28. Number of the elements in B is 32. We have to find number of the elements in A intersection B. 
So applying the formula of this A union B, we know that the number of elements in U A union B is number of the elements in A, number of the elements in B, minus number of the elements in A intersection B, which means it is 50, it is 28 plus 32 minus A intersection B. And if we go through the, all this, this is 60. So that means 50 minus 60, that means minus 10. That means the intersection of these two have 10 elements. Have 10 elements, right? So this is what is here. Now we are going through the second example. In a school, there are 20 teachers. There are 20 teachers. 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics. Mathematics or physics. Who teach mathematics or physics. Of these, Twelve teach mathematics. And four teach both physics and mathematics. Both four teach both physics and mathematics. And mathematics. Both physics and mathematics. Mathematics. How many does how many does how many? How many teach physics? Okay. How many teach physics? Right? Mathematics teachers are denoted by Mathematics teachers are denoted by set of mathematics teacher is denoted by uh, this M set of physics teachers. Mathematics set of uh, or the collection of mathematics teachers or set of mathematics teacher is denoted by is denoted by M set of physics teacher is denoted by P there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics and physics so number of the teachers who teach physics and mathematics is 20 number of the teachers who teach mathematics is 12 Number of the teachers who teach both physics and mathematics is four, right? Uh, is, uh, is four. Then according to the formula, 
number of the teachers, number of the union of these two teachers, these two sets, is number of the teachers who teaches mathematics, teachers who teaches physics, plus minus number of teachers who teaches both. So this is 20, is 12, minus 4. That means this is 28 plus number of teachers teaches math physics. And this gives us that teachers who teaches physics are 12. Right? Now we are coming to another example. A market research group. A market research group conducted a survey. Conducted a survey. Of thousand consumers. and reported that seven twenty consumers like product A four fifty consumers Four twenty consumers like product B. What is the least number? Least number that that must have like. that must have liked that must have liked both products set of consumers like product product a is denoted by a set of consumers like product B is denoted by B. Right? We have conducted the survey of thousand uh, consumers. Right? So set of consumers questioned or surveyed. is denoted by x. So number of the consumer that are surveyed are 1000 is 1000. Number of the number of the consumers that like product A is 750, 750 or 720. Let me see. Uh, it is 720. 720. Number of consumers like that, like product B is 450, right? So number of A union B is number of this A plus number of B minus number of A intersection B. Okay. 
so it is 720 plus 450 minus the interest we have no idea the of common consumers and this is uh, 1170 minus this right since this e number of the consumers that like both the products it is maximum is maximum and number of the consumers that like both the product is list right but and this a union b is contained a is contained in the universal set b is contained in the universal set so a union b is contained in the universal set and that means number of the elements in this union must be smaller than the number of the elements in X. So that means which is thousand. And which means that this uh, A union B is, uh, is at the most, is at the most thousand. And which means that Which means that this A intersection B is the least value. This uh, the least value of uh, the least value of. This is one seventy, right? So least number of the consumers that like both products one seventy. What is the least number that must have like both the products? So least number is 170. The least number that like both products is 170. Now we are coming to uh, this another theorem which we can derive from the previous theorem let a b c a b and c be three finite sets three finite sets then number of the elements in a union b union c is number of the elements in a number of the elements in B, number of the elements in C, minus number of the elements in A intersection B, minus the number of the elements in B intersection C, minus the number of the element in A intersection C, plus the number of the elements in A intersection B intersection C. Or we can say intersection B intersection C because intersection is associated. We take let B union C be equal to D. Then the number of the elements in A union D is number of the elements in A, number of the elements in D minus number of the elements in A intersection D. Now what is this number of the elements in D? Number of the elements in D is the number of the elements in B union C, which is number of the elements in B 
because the number of the elements in C minus number of the elements in B into section C. And the number of the elements in A into section D is the number of the elements in A into section B union C which is the number of the elements in A intersection B because the intersection is distributive over union, union A intersection C. Applying the formula, we get this is number of the elements in A intersection B plus the number of the elements in A intersection C minus the number of the elements in A intersection B intersection A intersection C, right? And this means we can write A intersection B intersection C. And this can be written as. And this can be written as number of the elements in A intersection B, number of the elements in A intersection C, minus number of the elements in A intersection B intersection C. And since A is repeated two times, we can write A intersection B intersection C, even we can club this, right? So because this, this is as that we know that A intersection B intersection C is equal to this, and it is two equal to A intersection B intersection C. So substituting 2 and 3 in 1, we get, so that means 1, 2 and 3 imply. 1, 2 and 3 imply. That number of the elements in A union B union C is number of elements in A. D gives us number of the elements in B plus number of the elements in C minus number of the elements in B intersection C. And number of the elements A intersection D gives us minus number of the elements in A intersection B. A intersection B plus number of the elements in A intersection C minus number of the elements in A intersection B intersection C. Right? You can see. This is our D. I'm substituting this D, B union C. Then I substitute B union, uh, this A intersection D. And this is, that means this number of the elements in A union B union C is number of the elements in A, number of the elements in B, number of the elements in C, minus number of the elements because this is a uh, natural number and with the negative it becomes an integer and integer commute so we can interchange this under uh, as uh, addition they commute right so this is minus uh, uh, number of the elements in a intersection b minus number of the elements in b intersection c minus number of the elements in a intersection c plus number of the elements in a intersection b intersection c right so this is our things. We see the example with that. A college awarded 38 medals. Awarded 38 medals in football. 15 in basketball and 20 in cricket. If these medals went to a total of 58 men and only three men who 
only three men only three men got medals in all the three sports how many received medals in exactly in exactly two of the three sports right set of the medals awarded to football team is denoted by football player is denoted by is denoted by f set of the medals awarded to basketball player is denoted by b set of the medals awarded to cricket player is denoted by c so number of the elements number of the uh, number of awards number of the medals awarded to football players is 38 medals a number of the medals awarded to basketball players is uh, 15 number of the medals awarded to cricket player is 20 and 58 men total medals medals went to a 58 men so number of the adders awarded to all these players is f union b union c can or we can take this as it is is 58 number of the medals awarded to all the uh, awarded to uh, number of the medals uh, uh, that means three men uh, number of the medals that awarded to uh common players means the number of the medals awarded to football as well as uh basketball and the cricket number of the medals awarded which uh, to the player that played all the three games right that received medal in all the three uh games is three so according to this are uh, this number of the medals awarded to this f union b union c we can keep this as it is or we can uh, club any two of them it hardly matters right so this is equal to number of players number of the awards to football team football players number of the awards to basketball players number of the awards to cricket players minus number of the awards to this football and basket minus number of the uh, awards to basketball and cricket players minus number of the awards to cricket and football players then number of the awards to football basket and cricket and which means it is 58 equal to this is equal to 58 uh let me see there is a this is yes 
it is uh, 58 football is uh, 38 basket is 50 cricket is 20 this we have no idea we have no idea about basket and cricket awards in uh, the, both the games award received in both cricket and uh, football we have no idea but we have the with uh, the players which received the award in football basket and cricket are three right so you can see uh, this is 58 equal to 38 plus 15 plus 20 right so this is what this is this becomes uh 38 uh 38 plus 15 plus 20 plus 3 means this is equal to 38, 15, 20, uh, and 3, 3, 8, 8, 16, 3, 4, and 7, 76. Am I right? Or oh, this must be uh, 76 minus this F intersection B minus this B intersection C minus this C intersection F. So 58 minus 76 means minus 80 equal to this. Right. So we can see here. That means this number of the players which receive both basket and football, basket and cricket, cricket and football are 18. Right? So look at the wine diagram. What is the situation here? This is F. This is basket and this is C. So we have here. Uh, this is basket. And C. You can see here. If we see though, this is football and cricket, right? So I can write instead of this, I can write uh, this as A, B, C, D. I, uh, what is the situation here? I have this A, this is D. This I can write this small A, D, and this B, and this C, right? So I can, this F intersection B is A plus D. F intersection B is A plus D. You can see, these are the number of the players that play football and basket. Right. Number of the players that played basket and cricket, basket and basket and cricket is this is this C plus G. The players which played cricket, which received the award in cricket and football, cricket and football, cricket and football is this B plus G. Right. And that means if we write this, this means that this A plus D is means it is the players which played both this 
basket in which received the awards in football and basket is a plus three players which received the award in basket and cricket is c plus three the players which received the award in football and cricket so this is a plus d plus c plus d plus b plus d equal to 18. And which means that this A plus B plus C plus A plus B plus C plus 3D, right? And 3D, D is what? D is our common section. D is, D is uh, the players which received the award in football as well in basket as well as in cricket is D, which is three. So this is A plus B plus C plus nine equal to 18. And that means the A plus B plus C equal to nine, right? So this is what is here, is A plus B is a, so the number of people, so number of players who receive medals, Receive medals in exactly two of the three games is nine. Is nine. So you can see how interesting it is. Right? So let me stop here. Thank you.